To all those people watching, I'd like to remind everyone that this video is not made for kids. It's for older fans and adults. Enjoy the fucking video! Henry had been grumpy for the past two days. Sir Stephen Topham Hatt had sent Thomas to take part in the great railway show in York on the mainland, and the big green engine grew jealous. He puffed into a station with the express. But on this day, he saw a nurse standing on the platform. Hello there, she said. Are you going to Wellsworth? We are, ma'am, Henry replied. Oh, very good. Today's my first day as a nurse there, and I don't want to be late. No problem, ma'am, replied the driver. We'll get you there in time. Thank you, replied the nurse, and she walked away to find a seat on her train. For the next few days, as Henry puffed into the station, he would always find the nurse standing on the platform waiting for him. Soon the nurse began to warm up to Henry, and when there was time they would usually have a chat before it was time for them to go. Henry liked the nurse. My name is Nancy, Nancy Reckford, she said to Henry, but you could call me Nurse Nancy. Very nice to meet you, Nurse Nancy, greeted Henry. Soon, Henry had forgotten to be grumpy about Thomas going to York because Nurse Nancy's presence at the station had always made him smile when they pick her up to take her to Wellsworth. Then one morning, Henry saw that Nurse Nancy was nowhere to be seen. Where is she? Henry wondered. I'll go and ask, replied the driver. He'd asked the station master, but he hadn't seen her. And then he asked a ticket collector of the station. No, I haven't seen her, he replied. Then the driver could see that the signal went down to show that the line was clear. The guard blew his whistle and waved his green flag. But where's Nurse Nancy? said Henry as he puffed out of the station. Perhaps she's on holiday, Henry. Nurses do have them too, you know, said his driver. So the train left the station without Nurse Nancy. Later it began to rain, and a little girl was riding her bicycle down the lane. She was on her way back from a friend's house and was looking forward to going home away from the rain. As she rolled through a town, she saw a dog darting across the road. Oh no! she cried. She braked hard and managed to avoid the dog, but she braked too hard and fell off her bike and landed hard on the road and began to scream in pain. Everyone came rushing by to help and one of those people was Nurse Nancy who was out shopping. She took the girl onto the footpath so she could be safe from the road and looked over her leg to see what damage was done. I'll call for an ambulance, said one of the townsfolk. The ambulance was called and the girl was placed in the back of it. As the ambulance made its way to the hospital at Wellsworth, there was an even bigger problem. Oh, drat, called the driver. What's wrong? asked Nurse Nancy. The ambulance is caught in some mud, and we can't move. We could call for another, but who knows how long it will take for it to get here, sighed the driver. Then Nurse Nancy heard a whistle in the distance. Henry, she said. What about Henry, wondered the driver. Henry's express service usually stops at Wellsworth, so why don't we try and have him take Amy to the hospital? Hmm, not a bad idea. Station's not far. I'll go and tell the station master. And he rushed away. He told the station master who agreed, and then told the signalman to hold up Henry's train while they bring Amy and Nurse Nancy to the train. Just then, Henry near the station, still feeling grumpy that Nurse Nancy wasn't on his morning train. I've lost my nice nurse. I've lost my nice nurse. His driver tried to assure him, but he saw the signal was placed in danger, and they had to stop. They waited and waited. What's the hold up? rumbled Henry crossly. I don't know, replied his driver. Perhaps there's a flood on the line. But surely someone would have told us by now. We've been held up for far too long. Finally, the station master came towards them. We need your help, driver, he said. 
A little girl called Amy had fallen off her bike and broke her leg, and the ambulance that was to take her had its wheels stuck in the mud. Can you please let Henry take Amy to the station near the hospital? The driver pondered and then smiled. Of course, he said. We're on our way to Wellsworth. Henry smiled. Soon the ambulance men arrived with Amy on the stretcher, and, to Henry's surprise, Nurse Nancy. Hello, Henry, she called, and for the first time that day, Henry beamed with happiness. Amy was soon placed gently in the coach. Don't worry, Amy, said Nurse Nancy. Henry will soon get you safely to the hospital, and she sat next to Amy to make sure that she was comfortable. When everything was ready, Henry set off, but very carefully so as not to make Amy's journey uncomfortable. Arrived at Wellsworth where another ambulance was waiting for them to take Amy to the hospital. Nurse Nancy smiled as Amy was soon placed inside. She then went towards Henry. Thank you very much Henry, she said happily. You are a really useful rail ambulance. Henry blushed bright red and then he said, if you don't mind me asking mom, why weren't you on my train this morning? Well today was my day off Henry. But I was in the same town as Amy and saw that she needed help. After all, I am a nurse. I'm sorry for not telling you about it the other day. That's all right, replied Henry. Soon the signal was down and Henry steamed away. Goodbye, Henry, called Nancy, and Henry gave a peep from his whistle as he puffed away to try and make up for the lost time. Then the ambulance rolled away to the hospital. It turned out in the end that Amy had luckily sprained her leg instead of breaking it. Her leg was bandaged up and she was placed in a wheelchair for only a few days until her leg was feeling better again. Nurse Nancy rolled her out of the hospital and in the distance, Amy heard Henry's whistle. Was that Henry? She asked. I want to go home on his train so I could say thank you to him. <laughs> well, you have to ask your mother, laughed Nurse Nancy. Here she comes now and rolling into the car park was Amy's mother. Amy was sad. What's the matter, Amy? She asked as she strode towards her. Then Nurse Nancy told her that she wanted to go home on Henry's train. The mother smiled and said, Why don't we go to the station and see him? And that made Amy beam with happiness. Nurse Nancy agreed too, and after helping Amy's mother put her daughter in her car, she boarded Amy's mother's car, and they went on their way to the station. Meanwhile, Henry had made up time with his train from earlier and made it to Wellsworth on time with his early evening train. He then saw a car rolling into the station car park. He saw that it was Amy, her mother and Nurse Nancy. Sir Stephen was on the train as he was making his way home for the day. Nurse Nancy came towards him while Amy and her mother went to see Henry. She then told Sir Stephen all about today. Soon both she and Sir Stephen went towards Henry as well. The big green engine smiled when he saw Amy, Nurse Nancy, Amy's mother, as well as Sir Stephen. Thank you for helping me, said Amy. It was fun riding to the hospital on your train. It's my pleasure, replied Henry. Perhaps when your leg is better you can ride on my train. And that made Amy more excited than ever. We are here to serve the public, announced Sir Stephen. And Henry here shows how useful our engines are in times of dire need. Henry, you are a really useful engine. Henry was very proud. Soon the signal was down and Nurse Nancy boarded the train. But what about the hospital? I've already checked out for the day, Henry. I was only in so I can help Amy today. It is still my day off, she chuckled. So did Henry. The guard blew his whistle and Henry puffed away. Goodbye, Amy, Henry peeped. Goodbye, Henry, called Amy. Nurse Nancy waved too from her train. Good boy, Amy. Look after your leg. I will, and thank you for helping me, Nurse Nancy. I'll never forget it. And soon, 
Henry glided out of the station on his way again. Amy hadn't forgotten Nurse Nancy's help, and even years after her leg had gotten better, she began to understand nursing. And as she had gotten older, she began to learn and study about nursing, and by the time she became a young adult, she had become a fully-fledged nurse at Wellsworth Hospital. Henry pulled into the station one day, and saw Amy on the platform as he pulled up with his train. Well, look at you! said Henry happily. You've certainly come a long way since the day I had taken you to the hospital. Indeed, chuckled Amy. But you can call me Nurse Amy. Nurse Nancy, who was now retired, along with Amy's mother, were all there to see her off. And as she boarded the train, Henry puffed grandly away with a brand new nurse on board his train.